The next tutorial we're going to go through is using something called pages. Now this is perhaps the most complicated aspect of Kodu programming, or at least um, the one that many people struggle um, to make sense of. So I'm going to try and make it as simple as possible. Essentially pages is a way of changing um, a object, a robot's behaviour during the game. So at the moment we have got this uh, fella here, this fire machine, that follows this path. So if I play the, play the game, there we go, he just follows a path. Now what I'd like him to do is once I've collected two points, it'll actually unlock the other island and he will then come and chase after me and attack me. So at the moment, he is following a path. But I'm going to create a page, so a second lot of programming, um, that will change once I've collected two points and he'll chase after me. Now, this is what we're going to do. So, I'm going to program him here. I'm going to say, so here's his normal programming, I'm going to say when uh, I've scored two points and I get a point for every coin I collect, do, I'm going to switch to page two, which is a second page of programming, which will then override this lot of programming here, which is page one. So let's flick over to page two. So what would I like it to do once I've collected two coins? Well, I would like um, the plane, the flying machine, to see me, and I am the cycle, and it's going to do move uh, towards me. Essentially, it's going to chase me. I would also like it when it's chasing me to fire at me as well. So what I can do is when I see this, when it sees the cycle, it's going to move towards, and and if I drag, select this second set of programming, drag it here, that represents an AND. So you see the cycle move towards AND, do, shoot, a missile. So when it sees the cycle, it's going to move towards and shoot a missile. I also want it to inflict some damage on me. So I can say, when the shot has hit the cycle, which is me, then we're going to do some damage. So in the combat damage and let's say five points. Right. So let's just review that. This is page one. This is your original set of programming. Once I have it's just going to stick to the path and shoot at me if I get too close. Once I've scored two points, so wherever that might be, it's going to switch to page two, which is then going to change the programming and he's going to come and attack me. So let's see how this is going to work. Okay, let's play the game. Right, so there he is, just wandering around. Not interested in me unless I get too close. Now I'm going to try and pick up this coin. That's one, and I got too close, he's firing at me. Let's get to the coin here. Get this coin. And there he is, he's going to come and fire at me, he's going to come and attack me. Is and I can kill him. Essentially, what you're trying to do with these pages is make the gameplay unpredictable for the user. So the user thinks that that plane, that flying machine, is just going to stick to that path. Little do they know that as soon as I've collected two points, the programming is going to change, it's going to switch to page two, and it's going to come and attack me. Play around with it, be creative, and see what you can come up with.